everybody! I'm here today to tell you and show you how to reverse straight beside a curb. This will be a super easy driving lesson, so let's get right into the video. There are essentially four things that you can do to reverse straight beside a curb. Now, once you're an experienced driver, these things will be automatic. But when you're learning to drive, you have to think about these things. I'm going to tell you what they are. And then I'm going to show you how I utilize these things to reverse in a straight line beside a curb. Let's get right into the video. Number one is your mirror. Now you have all of your mirrors. You have three mirrors in your car, your two side mirrors and your rear view mirror. The most important mirror for reversing straight beside a curb is the side mirror that is on the curb side. So there's a curb on my right side, my passenger side here. Okay. So I'm going to use that mirror. And yes, I'm going to look in my other mirrors to see what's going on behind my car, but that mirror will help guide me. Okay. So basically as I am driving, I'm going to get close to the curb over here. Okay. And then I'm going to use this mirror. So I'm looking in, in, in my mirrors and turning my head and stuff for safety, but I'm using that specific mirror. Okay. To, to see where the side of my car is relative to the curb. Now, in a lot of modern cars, especially the luxurious ones, the passenger side mirror will actually tilt down when you're in reverse. So that will help you even more. But I can see the curb. So I'm looking at the side of my car compared to the curb through the side mirror on the curb side, okay? Um, number two, what to do with the steering wheel? I'm using the mirror, I'm looking all around, but that's the most important mirror right now. My steering wheel is staying straight, but I'm making tiny little adjustments, and I'll tell you why. You might look like you're perfectly straight lined up with the curb, but you're probably not. There are imperfections in the road, in the curb, uh, in your steering, in everything. So you have to keep the steering wheel relatively straight. And I say this because, I'm just gonna line myself up again here, relatively straight. Because if you just hold the steering wheel straight like this, you're probably on a bit of an angle. So by keeping your steering wheel relatively straight, okay, you can see that I'm making tiny little adjustments to keep myself lined up straight beside the curb. So you can make micro adjustments, but keep that wheel relatively straight, okay? Number three, slowly move. Am I flooring it going in reverse? No. Am I even going quickly? No, I'm not even fully letting off the brake pedal, okay? I am just easing off the brake pedal and feathering it. So when you're reversing straight beside a curb or reversing straight or in any situation reversing, you never want to go fast, number one, because it's dangerous. But number two, it's way easier to keep yourself lined up with something else um, that is set on the road, like a curb, if you are going slowly, okay? You can see the speed that I'm going by looking right here, okay? Go slowly, okay? Um, and number four, last but not least, is start in the proper spot. What you wanna do, and I'll turn the camera like this a little bit here, you wanna sort of line yourself up beside the curb in the spot that you wanna be, in the distance that you wanna be. So I wanna be about a foot away from the curb in this situation, so I'm gonna put the car in reverse over here, and I'm reversing, and I started about a foot away from the curb lined up already, okay? There's a guy walking a dog, and he's literally walking the dog beside where I'm, I'm going back and forth, and he's just looking at me like, I don't think he realizes there's a camera here, because he's like, what is this guy doing? Listen, man, I'm filming a video, bro, come on, give me some credit here. Anyways, um, start in the proper spot, and start at the distance uh, of distance away from the curb that you want to be at and make sure you're lined up straight beside the curb okay so i'm going to start in the proper spot okay i'm using my mirror to judge how far away from the curb i am and now i'm going to move straight back now you'll notice i was steering with one hand if you're doing your driving test steer with two hands um in reverse very important um in reality when you're regularly driving on a practical basis one hand is usually okay for steering in reverse and also because it gives me the flexibility to turn my body a lot more right if i go like this i can turn like this but i can actually turn a lot more like that so i'm sacrificing one hand on the wheel but i'm making it up because i can see a lot more around the car okay so but you know like i said if you're doing the driving test two hands for sure uh that said if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching